Welcome back. In lesson five, we are going to look at intervals. And intervals are just the distances between any two notes on any instrument. Uh, so it could be the guitar, but it could also be a piano, it could be a saxophone, it could be uh, the marimba, any, any instrument that has pitches. And so, simply put, an interval, if we play the open A string, and then we play the next, the first fret here uh, on the, the A string, that's a B flat, that's going to be a, what's called a minor second interval. That's the smallest interval we have in music. And that, um, that minor second, you may also hear, is the characteristic sound of the Jaws theme, this. So if you hear that, minor second going back and forth or you you can that may remind you a little bit of the jaws theme and that's a way to remember the sound of a minor second the next interval is a major second and that would just be uh two half steps together or one whole step as we learned earlier in the book so you would go from that open a string to a uh, a b flat and then to the b natural here so this would be A to B, that's your major second. So in the book, we chart out the, all the intervals in an octave using the high E string. So I'm going to go through that now. And as I'm playing this, try to hear the characteristics of each particular interval. They're, they have a very distinctive characteristic, and that's a lot of what makes music sound the way it does. The, the combination of intervals and I should say intervals can be played one after another like we were just doing or they can be played at the same time so you may hear the A to B flat here that's one after the other but you could also hear them like this it's kind of a dissonant sound but that's the, the A and the B flat together so and that's true of all intervals you can stack them and play them um, at the same time so Without further ado, this is the sound of uh, each interval through the octave starting on the high E string. So it's E to F would be a minor second. E to F sharp would be a major second. And I should just remind you, we're on lesson 23. and This is the chart on lesson 23 in the book. And then E to G is a minor third. That's very important interval in our minor chords and our minor scales. And then E to G sharp is a major third. And that interval is very important, kind of a foundational interval in the major scales that we're learning and also major chords. And then we go E to A, that's a perfect fourth. And then E to uh, either uh, B flat or A sharp, that's a um, diminished fifth, and that's a really characteristic sound that is uh, very tense and is used in diminished chords. And then we go E to B, and that's a perfect fifth, and that's a very stable interval, and that's a very important interval in very many chords. Then we go E to C, that's a minor sixth, and then E to C sharp, that's a major sixth, and then E to D, that's a minor seventh, and that's a characteristic interval for um, dominant seventh uh, chords and arpeggios, the mixolydian mode that we'll learn a little later in the book, and also um, for other minor seventh type of chords and arpeggios. I should say the penultimate, the second to last interval we're going to learn here is the major seventh and that's in this case E to D sharp and then the last one is E to E and that's our octave. So there you have it. Those are the basic intervals in uh, within one octave. See you next time.